Hello everyone and welcome to A Minutes with Aaron. My name is Aaron and I am going to show you an adventure that you'll never forget. We're going to open boxes, we're going to go through things, we're going to have a conversation where I'll basically be the only one talking. So let's get rolling with 8 Minutes Surfing USA with Aaron. arrived the other day and I had no idea where it was coming from. Now I do go and search on the internet for Funko Pops in the Naruto category and I stumbled upon Chalice Collectibles releasing a special edition of their own of Sasuke with a blue glow to him. Now I do have my handy dandy flashlight here and we can shut the lights off and see that glow but first we have to unbox it! So that is right, people. I did spoil it. We are going to open the Chalice Collectible Sasuke. I believe it's from Boruto, which kind of sucks. One in six, Chase Thingy Mabobber. Hey! So we definitely get a chase! Woo! All right, so let's open this box that we got from... Chalice. All right, cut it open. And I won't turn it to that side because I just realized I did not take that off. I uh, forgot, I'll just open it like this. All right. Oh, hey, look at this. Chalice did, however, put it in a, another box. So that does give them, I guess that gives them like a cool point or, you know, eh, I don't know. Still, the price is making kind of weird about doing business with them. Plus, I'm just going to let you know, I had to buy a six of the, uh, Black Clover one that got released that I don't know her name that I really need to pay attention to names in the animes more than just the main characters. Like I know Asta and you know and Yami, you know. Right? Isn't that enough? Alright, so I am looking in the box and you know, just looking at it, we can figure out which one is the chase. Because they do put it in a protector and they do turn it. A different direction so we will pull one common out careful and as I stated it is from the Baruto section so it does say Baruto on it and uh, he looks pretty nasty he looks freaking cool I think it is a husky looking Funko Pop and turning from it it doesn't look like there's any damage at all I really do love the uh, chalice collectible sticker I think they have a really freaking cool sticker I don't know who can, who can beat that sticker Maybe a Comic-Con one? I don't know. You tell me in the comments what you think. All right, so put this one here, and then we will have to take this Chase version oh, out more carefully. And we're just going to put this box over here with all the other Funko Pops, and we'll bring these a little bit closer. And it is 8 minutes with Aaron, and we are going to open this in less than 8 minutes. I'm just kidding. All right, so... I guess I should have just took it out the glow-in-the-dark one because it would be the same version as the common one, right? Yeah. All right, so I have to take this out of its protector. And that's not a protector they give us. It is a nice protector. It's a nice protector that they give you. Oh, man, I don't even know. It's a nice protector that they give you. So that's always a plus. Nice and thick. Better than most of the ones that I buy from Ecotech. Ugh. And I'll put this Funko Pop over there, just so I don't mess it up. And we will pop it from the bottom, just to make sure we don't mess up the uh, top. Alright, so, let's give this a nice review. Let's go over all of this, and then we will give it a glow check. So I'm going to put them here. First, let's talk about the box uh, around it. Uh, the box is cool. Uh, like I said, label, chase, perfect, Sasuke looks neat, you got the back of the box, looking cool, you got the side version box, looking neat again, we'll put them down, that was it, just a quick overview of the box, people, nothing too crazy, and then we have Sasuke Ucha. uh, he is light, not too bad, uh, I just wanted to get a first look before I turn him to the camera, really amazing detail on the Rengen, and really amazing detail on the Magnetio shutting gun. They look fantastic. I will put a picture on one of these sides so you guys can see it. 
Uh, I do like the lightning around the sword. Looks really cool. I, uh, you know, other than that, that's the really the only things that stand out are the lightning on the sword and then, you know, his eyeball pupils that are really awesome. I really should have taken out another Sasuke just to see if uh, the eyes were any different. Uh, I can grab this one up here real fast. <clears throat> and just looking at it, I know you guys aren't going to be able to see it clearly enough. This one is just a lighter color in comparison to the other AAA uh, exclusive uh, Chase. But they're the same thing. Still lightning. Looks the same. And what we're going to do, everyone, we are going to say one, two, All right, three. So I'm going to blind myself and turn on the right light. Okay. We're going to flash some Sasuke-ness up here. Give him some nice blue light. A okay. few moments later. Ready? Turn it off. In three, two, one, let's see him shine. All right, I mean, it's not um, as bright as glow as I thought it was going to be. So to be completely honest with you, I was not too impressed with the uh, glow in the dark, Baruto, the next generation, Sasuke, adult version. Uh, granted, the sword did glow and the hair did shimmer and turn blue. It really didn't do that in the anime at all. It didn't do that in the magna at all. They're kind of just going through the, uh, let's see what people are going to buy. And, and granted, it's, it's going to work. I'm a completionist. So you can toss any crap out you want in the real genre. I'm personally going to buy it. Just because I need to have them all. But this Funko Pop, if I didn't need to get it, I wouldn't have gotten it. The prices are expensive. The Funko Pop's really not worth it. And to be honest with you, I really don't like Funko Pops that can't stand on their own. So I'm either going to have to like move his head, which it doesn't move, so to be fair, I'm gonna, he doesn't stand. He doesn't come with a foot pedal. He doesn't come with anything. I would have to get something to put behind him to literally have him stand. And all you viewers know how I feel about that. I feel the Funko Pop should have a bobblehead and they should stand. And this Sasuke doesn't. So you know what? <laughs> Even though I really do not want to do this, Sasuke is getting a thumbs down. I'm sorry, Sasuke. I love I love the Naruto series, but bro, you're getting a thumbs down. Chalice, you're getting a thumbs down too on this one because you're the ones who are backing this shit up. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me for 8 Minutes with Aaron. Please write down in the comments what your view points are on the Boruto Funko Pop. If you bought it or if there's, you know, Funko Pops that people release that you just grab because you're a completionist just like myself. I hope you had a great time. I hope you enjoy your night because when you're watching me, that's the only place you need to be. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.